Hey guys, welcome back. Today we've got a short and sweet recipe tutorial for this blueberry lemon coffee cake. Now since March is Women's History Month, I wanted to make a vegan friendly version of one of my mom's recipes. And she's the one who did most of the cooking for our family when I was growing up. So she is definitely one of the first people who influenced my interest in food, my passion for cooking and especially baking. I partnered with Kroger for this video and I was able to find all the ingredients I needed at my local Ralph's store really easily at an affordable price. Everything from the basic baking supplies to the fresh blueberries and lemons, as well as the vegan substitutes that I needed. So the butter and the sour cream, and they're really great at offering vegan friendly options these days. So thanks to Kroger for sponsoring this video, and now let's dive into the recipe. Start out by preheating your oven to 375 degrees. Then you're gonna generously grease your baking pan. I like to use a nine inch spring form pan. I just like the presentation better, but you can totally use just a regular cake pan or even a square baking dish. Now we're gonna combine a tablespoon of flaxseed meal with some water. This is going to act as our egg substitute and bind everything together. We're doing this now so we can have a couple minutes to thicken up while we measure our other ingredients. Now we're gonna make our crumb topping. It's super simple. You just need some brown sugar, some flour, some vegan butter, and some salt. Measure out your butter and stick it in the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds to melt it. I'm using the Country Crock Vegan Butter, which is really easy to find at your local Kroger store. Then measure out a half a cup of flour and six tablespoons of packed brown sugar. You can add in a pinch of salt, and this will depend on whether the vegan butter you're using is super salty or not. If it is, you can omit this. Toss those ingredients together and then add in your melted vegan butter. Mix that together and we're looking for a crumbly mixture, kind of reminiscent of wet sand. If you squeeze some in your palm, it should hold its shape, but it shouldn't be super wet. And depending on your brand of flour and the humidity where you are, you might need to add a little bit of extra flour. So on this day, I did need to add about two tablespoons extra flour just to get the texture I was looking for. Now set that crumb mixture aside and we're gonna move on to the actual cake base. Now we're also gonna take a moment to juice and zest one medium lemon. For me, this yielded about a tablespoon of lemon zest. This is gonna be for the batter. And we have a few tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, which we are going to use in our icing for the top. If you're not a huge fan of lemons or citrus, you can definitely skip this. You can also substitute in some orange zest and orange juice, but I really do like the combination of the fresh blueberries and some kind of tart citrus. We're starting out with the wet ingredients, and the special ingredient here is vegan sour cream. It makes it just a little bit more moist and luscious in texture, and this is my favorite one. It's by Simple Truth Organic. So in a large bowl, you're gonna combine all of your wet ingredients. This includes some more vegan butter that you have melted and allowed to cool a little bit. Your flax egg, which should be nice and thickened by now. Your vegan sour cream and some milk. You can use any of your favorite unsweetened plain plant milks. I'm just using soy milk because it's my favorite for baking. A few teaspoons of vanilla extract. And at this point, you're also going to add in your lemon zest. Whisk together all those wet ingredients. And now you're gonna sift in your flour. some white granulated sugar, a few teaspoons of baking powder, and a little bit of salt. And again, how much you add here is going to depend on how much salt there is in whatever brand of vegan butter you're using. Stir all those ingredients together until it's well combined. Now you're gonna take some fresh blueberries. You can also use frozen ones. If you do use frozen, don't thaw them beforehand. You wanna leave them in the freezer right until you need them. Go ahead and toss your berries in a tablespoon or so of extra flour. This is just gonna help prevent them from sinking to the bottom of your batter. 
and you're going to gently fold those into your batter. Pour that into your greased baking pan. Smooth it out. This batter is just slightly thicker than a typical cake batter. Now you're going to take that crumb topping that we set aside and crumble that evenly over the top of your cake. Now pop that in the oven and you're going to bake it between 40 and 45 minutes. And you can go ahead and use a toothpick or a butter knife to test. If it comes out clean, then your cake should be ready. I would recommend that you wait for it to cool completely before you ice it. This is just going to make it so the icing is able to harden quickly, which really adds a nice kind of satisfying crunch on top of that crumb topping. And for the icing, you're just going to combine a few tablespoons of powdered sugar with some of that lemon juice that we set aside before and drizzle that over the top. If the cake has already cooled, it should take probably only 10 extra minutes for the icing to harden as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in trying the recipe, I will have it linked down below on my blog. There's a printable recipe card. And as always, if you make it, I'd love for you to tag me in a photo on Instagram. It always means the world to me when you guys try my recipes. Thank you again to Kroger for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.